Good afternoon, everyone. It's Dr. Shiva Ayadure. So today we're going to be talking about strawberries and heart health. When you look at a strawberry, it's got many compounds. It's fleshy. It's an edible and large receptacle flower. It's not a fruit, technically. Strawberry is actually a flower, and it belongs to the Rosacea rose family. And it's an important fruit that's in the Mediterranean, and it has medicinal properties attributed to vitamins and phytochemicals. Let's talk about the cardiovascular system. The heart, first of all, is a very powerful muscle. The heart receives blood coming from from the lungs, oxygenated blood, and that gets pumped throughout all the vasculature, which means the blood vessels. As the oxygen is utilized by your body, you have the deoxygenated blood, which comes back up here. Obviously, as you breathe in, it gets oxygenated and the cycle continues. And now remember, the blood is composed of blood cells and plasma. And the red blood cells are the things that carry oxygen, and the white blood cells provide immune support. Very important, people forget this system's approach. If you want good immunity, you have to have good circulation so your white blood cells can get to the places you need them to go to heart blood vessels and blood so let's take a closer look of this system so the vasculature consists of these blood vessels arteries large blood vessels that carry oxygenated blood away from the heart veins large blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood to the heart and then capillaries the smaller blood vessels that deliver nutrients and oxygens to the tissues and cell this inner lining is composed of endothelial cells and that you want it to be frictionless because that's where you get good flow of blood if this starts calcifying that's where you start having problems so from a system standpoint the endothelial function function is critical to your overall cardiovascular health. You have the cardiovascular system, you have something called the strawberry. Well, how do these two things interact? To do all of our research, we use cytosol. And I'm going to walk you through what cytosol is. And if you look at the research that's been done on strawberries, there's over 6,000 articles written, 147 clinical trials, which means people have tested strawberries on humans. And it's been studied for over 130 years, about 138 years. So quite a bit of work has been done on this. Now, what we're capable of of doing pharmaceutical companies would never really research a strawberry because they'd have to handle all the many compounds with cytosol our technology we're able to look at all those papers written extract out the key molecular reactions how strawberry interacts with the cardiovascular system organize it model it and present it to you so we have a very different way of organizing that you can't really find anywhere else in the world i'll share with you more about cytosol shortly when we talk about one of the products that we've discovered using cytosol i wanted to let you know that we use the technology here, we've helped many, many companies over the last 16 years, a lot of smart, innovative companies, but we decided with all the mathematical models we've created, why don't we try to use this to compute the best product we could think of from the science out there for reducing pain and inflammation, pain and discomfort. And that resulted in us creating MV25 using Cytosol. We're going to have more products that are going to be coming, but let me just show you what MV25 is about for those of you who haven't heard about it. But this is using Cytosol in a beneficial way, not to just do research but find combination therapies. Hi, I'm Barbara Ann. My hands would cramp up so that I couldn't hold cards or knit or crochet and they would go like that. Not have to use this when I played cards with my grandkids and I started taking that MB25. After a bit I was able to hold cards in my hand very, very little cramping, hardly at all anymore. MV25. Hi, my name is Sandy. I'm a Taekwondo instructor. I tore my ACL during Taekwondo. I had a lot of pain and limited mobility. I've been taking the MV25 for about six months now. After the first week, I noticed a big difference. After the second week, almost literally no pain. My name is Jeremy and I suffer from a lower back problem. Hurt my back at work years ago and I can go to the chiropractor, do all kinds of different things and nothing seems to help. And I decided to try MV25. I didn't notice a difference immediately, but within a few days the pain went away and it stayed away. I've continued to take it and even when I do things that I shouldn't do, it seems to go away a lot quicker than it ever did before. It's clean food certified, it's made in the US. If you go to vashiva.com right on the shop, you'll click there or you can go right to mv25.life either way. And then from there, you can click on the bottle and you can order. Please take advantage of it because first of all, it's going to help you. It's going to help our movement. And it really supports the fact that we want to take science-based approaches to natural products. So we've looked at the cardiovascular system, right? So that's over here. And now you eat a strawberry. What is a strawberry composed of? Well, a lot of dietary fiber, proteins, and fat, but most of it is dietary fiber. And this, these are called the macronutrients. The micronutrients are 
the vitamins, the minerals, the phenolic compounds, the anthocyanins, and the alkaloids. What are the biological effects of strawberry? Well, it's anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-hyperlipidemic, which means it breaks up fat, and it's a anti-hypertensive. This is what we're going to focus on today. Before I go there, we also need to understand there that health benefits of strawberries, cardiovascular disease such as hypertension or arteriosclerosis, alleviation of diabetes, alleviation of obesity, alleviation of neurodegeneration and cancer. When you look at Cytosol, we use this technology to really understand the role of nitric oxide in endothelial function. So if you remember the surface of every vein and every artery and every capillary is made up of endothelial cells. If you want to have great cardiovascular function, these endothelial cells are essentially ubiquitous. So here's the endothelial cell. And what do you see on the surface of the endothelial cell? It's pretty cool. Over here, I want to put your attention right here. There is a Christmas tree-like structure that juts out of the cell called a glycocalyx. It was only about 10 years ago that this structure was confirmed. There was a lot of controversy among scientists whether it even existed. So when blood flows, guess what happens? This starts shaking. It's a physical structure. And through a series of chemical reactions, which took scientists across the world, different pieces of these chemical reactions are discovered by different scientists, and Cytosol put it all together. That's the power of Cytosol. From these chemical reactions, voila, you get nitric oxide release. The mechanical force on the glycocalyx initiates conversion of L-arginine to nitric oxide by the enzyme enos. So you gotta have the glycocalyx working properly. You gotta have flow. So imagine there's a lot of crud on the endothelial, right? You get calcification, it's gonna be difficult. So you gotta have clean arteries. Well, in order to have clean arteries, you need to have proper diet, proper food, proper exercise. This glycocalyx, it's a very, very cool structure, okay? You need to have the glycocalyx activity to result in all of these very powerful activities taking place, okay? And we can see now applying cytosol, the effect of strawberry on the cardiovascular system. First of all, as we mentioned, strawberry is known to have an antihypertensive effect, an anti-diabetic effect, an anti-arthrosclerotic effect. These are those compounds that are involved. Catechins from the strawberries activates enos. Enos will result, as we sh showed earlier, to ni nitric oxide. Nitric oxide results in SGMP, which is really good to relax your blood vessels, leading to vasorelaxation. There's another chemical, p cumaric acid and quercetin. So two more chemicals here. So catechin helps the smooth muscle relaxation, but p cumaric acid and the quercetin, these two molecules here, also have another very powerful effect. p cumaric acid and quercetin upregulate NRF2. And NRF2 is a valuable molecule because that promotes these two antioxidant enzymes, superdioxide, dismutase and catalase. And these two enzymes block hydrogen peroxide, they block superoxide, and by blocking these, which are the key initiators of endothelial dysfunction, you stop anti-diabetic effect, right? Which a lot of people with cardiovascular disease have. And then finally, anti-arthrosclerotic effect. This is a hardening of the arteries. Camphorphoral and quercetin, which also come from strawberries, eat up the superoxide, and they stop the creation of OXLDL, which causes plaque formation. So I can also take a very different approach. I can take an Eastern approach and an engineering systems approach to understand strawberries. So strawberry decreases transport, the forces of motion. It increases pitta, which are the forces of conversion, like digestion, and it increases kapha, which are structural aspects. How much should you take? Freeze-dried strawberries, FDS, you can get it as a beverage for hypertension. This is research. 50 grams of the freeze-dried strawberry shown to have a very good positive effect for hypertension. You can also take freeze-dried strawberry beverage, and this was research that was done for cholesterol control. Again, 50 grams FDS per day. We want to talk about sourcing. Strawberries are like a sponge for whatever's in the environment. So if you getting strawberries that are highly pesticide, all of that pesticide is going to grow into the strawberry. So organic strawberries are preferred. Organic farming processes produce healthier fruits. Obviously, you can grow strawberries yourself. They actually taste better. Organically grown strawberries are more nutritious, higher vitamin C, more phenolic compounds, more potassium, phosphorus, antioxidants, and the strawberries are better for soil and the environment. As a part of that, I want to also let all of you be aware it is our movement actually created the certified clean and certified raw seal. You'll find it on products. And this is way beyond organic. So if you see the certified clean, it means that it was safely produced from farm to table. It was minimally processed and bioavailability of nutrients. Okay.
So in summary, strawberry has several benefits to cardiovascular health. The catechin from strawberry upregulates and releases the vasodilator NO, which lowers hypertension. You also have strawberry promotes upregulation of antioxidant enzymes that mitigate diabetes via downregulation of endothelial dysfunction caused by oxidative stress. And strawberry compounds also prevent arterial sclerosis by downregulating oxidative stress that causes plaque formation and hardening of the artery. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shiva Adure. Before we continue with this, I want to just remind everyone that because of the massive censorship and shadow banning that still continues on social media platforms, I'd like you to click the link to continue watching this on our own platform at vashiva.com. Thank you very much.